Hey there, good looking. Join me for this arms and abs workout. If your focus are the triceps, the biceps, and those core muscles, this is the perfect workout for you. All you need are a couple of pairs of moderate weight dumbbells. For reference, I have a pair of 10s and 12s. And heads up, there are no push-ups in this workout either. Yes, that should get you to stay. <laughs> and you may also want a mat if you're on a hard surface. And this is also, if you're doing this workout in real time, a day and nine of the strong and sassy challenge. All right, grab your dumbbells and let's go get warmed up. Hello there, let's get ourselves warmed up and as we do, I'll chat about the workout, okay? Let's start with our T-spine. So, knees are soft, hip hinge, hands underneath the chest. Take one arm, reach it up, look up, and bring it down, other arm. So this area of the back is important to keep mobile so that we can do pressing motions because we will be doing some shoulder exercises because the triceps will be participating in that. And I wanna hit your arms on all levels. This workout consists of giant sets. So that means a series of four exercises, back to back, two rounds with little rest. We start with the core, then we move into our arms, back to core, and the final circuit of um, arms. One more each side. Last one. Beautiful. Bring the palms towards me, curl them up, just warming up into that elbow joint. Good. So with our core exercises, there are going to be quite a few actually that are not osteo safe. So don't worry, I will have mini me here providing an osteoporosis and osteopenia safe. And it might actually be a better exercise for where you're at in your fitness journey as well. Last three and two and one. And now bring the elbows back and kick back. So we want a hip hinge now. We want the gravity to come down on the back of the upper arm, straighten the arms completely. So we're learning a couple of movement patterns that we'll be doing in the workout, as well as warming up into now our triceps. Let's do four more, and three, two, and one. Let's take it down onto the mat, warm up into the wrists for me. Turn your fingers so that they're pointed away on each side of the mat, and then I just want you to shift your body weight side to side. keeping those elbows straight. And now release, bring those fingertips towards the knees and now forward and back. And let your body go right past the wrist. So we're going forward, good distance, sitting back. Sitting back, you're gonna feel quite a stretch in the flexors of your forearm. We gotta get all this area warmed up because you'll be gripping dumbbells. Last three and two. One, wrists under shoulders, knees apart underneath the hips. Inhale, let the low back sag, head looks up. Exhale, push the ground away. Let's flow through this a few times, warming up into our core, and then we'll start our first series, our first circuit, working into those abs. Two more. Last one, and neutral spine. All right, so we're gonna start with a V-sit clap. If that doesn't work for you, you shouldn't be twisting. You're gonna see Mini-Me do a static V-sit. And so, otherwise, if you're joining me, I want you to come on up, crunch up, lift the knee, and if you can, clap under. Now that might not be available to you, so I want you to maybe lift the knee up a little higher and tap the top of your thigh. So we have 30 seconds of work for the entire workout, half the time recovery. So nice 15 second recovery. Breathe out when you crunch up. Let's do one more. All right, we have flutter kicks. If flutter kicks don't work for you, mini me is going to be doing an alternating leg down, keeping the low back onto the mat. Otherwise, hands underneath the bum for me, straighten the legs, crunch up, look up, and flutter. 
Now the crunching up of the upper body is optional. You can keep the head down by all means. But we do want the hands underneath the bum, get a little bit of pelvic tilt. Moving into a side plank clam in 12 seconds. All right, rolling onto one side, doesn't matter which one, we're doing them both. <laughs> I want you to bring the knees together and the feet together and the elbows under the shoulder. Everyone can perform this one. Lift up into side plank and now lift that top knee and down. So if you're doing this in real time and part of the Ignite, or pardon me, wrong challenge, <laughs> wow, strong and sassy challenge, this week's focus is bulletproofing our low back. So we did that with a series yesterday, standing hip. Now we've got it integrated in the actual workout, working into the core muscles and the hip here. Good job. Other side in three, two, one, and release. All right, let's do the other side. So our first setup is elbow under shoulder, feet stacked, knees stacked, lift up and push your hip forward. Good, now keep yourself out of that bottom shoulder, lift up, you got it. So round one is done. We're gonna take it back to the top of that V set for a second round and then move into our arms circuit one there. You might feel your hips more than you actually feel the obliques, but don't worry, your abs are fired up, I promise. All right, so once again, if crunching isn't in your wheelhouse, you're going to hold that V-sit, and then if you'd like, you can alternate and tap underneath the thighs. Otherwise, those of you with me, exhale, crunch up, clap. One more. Woo! All right, we've got flutter kicks. If that doesn't work for you, it's just killing your low back. You're gonna pull the belly button in towards the spine and alternate one heel coming to your floor, all right? Otherwise, join me, hands under bum. Look up is optional. Legs are just a few inches off your ground, moving through the hips, right, not the knees. Woo, this one gets me every time. <laughs> Side plank coming up in four, three, two, and one. Woo! All right. Elbow under shoulder, feet stacked, knees stacked, lift up, open the chest, and now lift that top knee up. There you go. Now we still only have 15 seconds transition when we get into our weights as well. So we'll have to, if you want to water, <laughs> you got to do it quick. <laughs> Moving move into the other side in three, two, one. Woo. All right. And then we're standing with our weights. So elbow under shoulder. Wow, my watch now has zones. Sorry, <laughs> squirrel. Here we go, lift up. I have an Apple watch and this is must be a new update. It's got zones in different colors. Good, try not to drop into that bottom shoulder, right? In 10 seconds, we're standing for shoulder press, so you'll want a heavier, moderate weight for this. 
All right, come on up. So this is the same thing. It's a giant set, four exercises, 30 seconds of work still, 15 second recovery. Two rounds, and then we move back to more abs. So I want you to bring your hands facing you or facing me, whatever feels best for the shoulders. Slowly press up and down. I think my hands are being cut off by the camera. Now to modify this, you can do one at a time. To further modify, hold on to one dumbbell with both hands. So you would hold on to the end of each dumbbell. Slow and controlled. Woo, all right. Let's keep this weight. Most people tend to be strong in the biceps. We're doing a bicep curl now. When we lower, we're not just dropping the weight, we're taking it very slow and controlled. Abs engaged, curl up, slow and controlled. You know your weight's too heavy. If you're finding on this one, you're actually really having to use the hips to get the dumbbells up. So drop the weight down. We'll move into the triceps with some kickbacks in 10 seconds. One more. All right, so you might want to lighten the load a little bit. With the kickback, it's the exact same what we did in warm up, except now we have weight. <laughs> so feet hip width, give me a hip hinge, elbows up and kick back, release. So when we kick back, we're only moving through that elbow joint. We're not moving the shoulders. And then we want to hinge forward, so we've got a nice neutral spine. We don't feel anything in the spine, and the elbows are pressed up, so we've got the line of gravity coming in the back of the upper arm. See, we have to manipulate gravity when we're working with dumbbells to hit the right muscles. That's why if we were to do this standing upright, you wouldn't hit your triceps. You'd just be hitting your shoulders. One more. Whew. All right. You can switch out your dumbbells. I think I will too. A little heavier. We're going back to those biceps. This time it's an alternating across body curl. So we're going across the midline of the body. Good, curl. And this is our fourth exercise of the giant set. So we go back to shoulder press. Make sure when you're doing this, you're not moving your whole body. So this is why trainers love dumbbells as they also make you work your core and work your balance. Last one. All right, so shoulder presses. And again, your palms can be facing you or away. There is no right or wrong. It's whatever feels best for your shoulder. Single arm if you need to, or holding onto one dumbbell each hand. Here we go, press, straighten the arms, lower. So we're hitting the shoulders, but the triceps, the back of your arms, are assisting on this. Tighten up those abs. Soften those knees. Nice and slow. All right, we got bicep curls. Our palms are gonna face us. We're not swinging, we're being strict with our form. So keeping that soft knee, abs pulled in, stance that we did for the shoulder press, and now curl all the way up and slowly lower. I'm really happy I can do bicep curls. I've really been struggling for a long time with elbow tendonitis, this side, tennis, and then I got golfer's elbow, this side. <laughs> yeah, it was like this elbow got jealous because it was getting all, this one was getting all the, um, all the love. Anyways, <laughs> and no, I don't play either sport. Here we go, elbows up and kick back, go. They call them tennis and golfer's elbow because tennis elbow is a lot easier to say tennis elbow than lateral epicondylitis. And golfer's elbow is a lot easier to say than medial epicondylitis. <laughs> 
Basically, they're both pain in the asses for injuries. Woo, I didn't go lower on this. I was going to, I was talking. <laughs> Whoops, one more. Whoa, ha. Ah. All right, so cross body, here we go, cross. Excellent, so this is where if you did go lighter for those kickbacks, you might be able to go a little heavier for this guy. Let's go. Now this is our final of the giant set for the arms. We move back onto the mat for some abs, a new giant set. Don't twist that body. I almost caught myself doing it, so I thought maybe I would <laughs> coach you to coach me. <laughs> One more. All right, dumbbells down on the ground. We're moving into a dead buck. If you're familiar with that, get set up right away. If not, knees over hips, ankles lined up with knees, arms up, draw the belly button in towards the spine. Now I want you to slowly extend just your left leg. Extend it, keep the back connected with your mat, heel to ground, release. Now the right leg. Great, now when we go back to the left, drop the opposite arm at the same time. Thumb coming down to the floor behind you. Heel coming down the floor in front. The whole time you've got that connection in the core so we're not letting that low back pop off your mat. All right, moving into a side V crunch. If that doesn't work for you, you're gonna go into a side plank, all right? Otherwise, I want you to straighten the legs, roll back so you're on that bottom glute. That's very important. Onto the forearm and then crunch, crunch. There we go. So you're bringing the hands to the toes, keeping the feet together, or maybe you've opted to do that side plank because this is a crunching pattern. 10 more seconds, other side. If you feel this in your hip, you're not rolled back enough on the bum, so give it a try. One more. Woo. Okay, so we're gonna do the other side. So again, on the forearm and then you're here, I want you to roll right back onto that hip. Okay, right onto the glute, pardon me. Arm up, bringing the feet together, breathe out. Nothing's going on with this bottom arm. One more. All right, we're moving into a clam crunch. If crunches aren't your jam, Mini Me is doing a alt whoops, alternating bird dog, okay? So you choose what's gonna work for you. If you're with me, hands are light behind the ears, rolling the upper body and lower body, exhaling. If you're doing the bird dog, wrists under shoulders, knees apart underneath the hips. Extend the leg and the opposite arm, thumb pointed up to the ceiling in that arm. Lower down, reset the core, and do the other side. One more. Woo! All right, we got one more round, and then we move into our final circuit for the arms. So it's our dead bug. Knees over hips, ankles over knees. So we don't want those knees too close, all right? Arms up, belly button drawn in. Extend, opposite arm and leg. Anchor that low back. All right, on your side. If you're not doing that V crunch, you're gonna do a side plank. And you can do it from that bottom knee or advanced people, you can bring your feet together. Either everybody else, roll onto the meaty part of the glute, arm up, 
crunch. Good. Do your best to keep your feet together. It's amazing how much this one gets you in the abs, isn't it? <laughs> Last two and one. Woo. All right, other side, same thing. Side plank if you're not crunching with us. I'm still in zone one according to my watch. <laughs> Here we go, roll back on the glute. So there's different zones for your heart rate. Woo. And it's no doubt I'm in a lower zone because we haven't been working the big muscles of the body, the legs. <laughs> but we cannot forget our abs or our arms. <laughs> One more. Woo! All right. Bird dog on all fours or join me for a clam crunch. Hands are just light. I've actually got them resting on my temple, not behind my ear. Exhale, curl everything up and down. Last two, one more. Woo, all right, come on up into a standing position and then I want you to grab the same size dumbbells that you used for your tricep kickbacks. We're gonna do a standing tricep extension. So, standing, feet apart, arms up, dumbbells together and drop them down and up. So here it looks like from the back, my dumbbells are touching, straightening my arms every time. I like a foot back a bit. I find that that helps me support my low back. And down. All right, you might want to go heavier for the wide curls. I'm not going to because my elbows are feeling good and I'm not going to tempt karma. So we're going wide, curling up, slowly lower, do it again. Now when we curl up, we're going to let the wrist curl in a little bit. We're not allowing the wrist to ever keep going, to ever break back. Okay, so you're going to do a little curl in and that protects the wrist when you lift. We want those feet apart, those knees soft, draw that belly button in. We are rooted here, our trunk is strong and stable, and then we curl these dumbbells out wide. Let's do one more. Woo. All right, drop down to your lighter set of the moderates. We're moving into a, an exercise called a check, C-H-E-K, named after the man who developed it, press. It's gonna work our posture muscles, shoulder and triceps. Bring the arms in front, dumbbells touching, now rotate them out, dumbbells to me, press up, bring back down, upper arms parallel to your floor and finish it. It's kind of like an Arnie press, but what I want you to think about here is bringing the elbows in closer. So in fact, if we wanna work more, more um, posture, we wouldn't rotate the hands. So we'll go through that a bit more on our next round. All right, maybe a little heavier load up to you, but we've got a hammer curl with a punch. So let's curl both ones up to the shoulder. Good, now punch out and lower. Now we'll punch out with the other arm. So by punching out, we really have to use those abs to keep ourselves here so that our body doesn't rotate. So this is an anti-rotation core exercise with a bicep move. One more. 
All right, so we're on our final round. Maybe a little heavier if you want. We're doing that behind the head tricep. So let's get the dumbbells touching, bring them behind the head. Tighten up through the core, straighten the arms, and now drop behind and release. Slowly, with intention. One more. All right, whoo, that gets the back of the upper arm. All right, we've got those wide curls. So take it out wide, gotta get a hair out of my eye. Curl up, slowly lower, good job. Funny story happened the other day. <laughs> I was in a grocery store at um, by one of our universities here in Vancouver. Let's do two more. Last one. Ooh. All right, hold that thought. So check press, if we want to turn it even more posture muscles, let's now have the dumbbells touching this way. Bring the elbows in, try to get the elbows to touch. And then we rotate, press, Bring them down and rotate, trying to get the elbows together. Standing in line, these three university guys are behind me. <laughs> the one guy says, I just train arms in the gym, bro. I don't do legs and shit. <laughs> I laughed out loud. <laughs> it's a common problem we have with the younger male population. Woo! All they train is what they can show off when they have their tank tops and muscle shirts on. They forget about the rest of their body, unfortunately, until they go play sport and then get injured. All right, hammer curl. This is it to punch. Ready? Hammer, punch, and down. I laughed though. I didn't say anything to them. <laughs> I don't even think they noticed me there. <laughs> what university kid is going to notice a middle-aged woman, right? <laughs> Time. But I had to text my friend who's a trainer. I knew she would appreciate it. All right, shake out those arms, grab a sip of water. We're going to do a couple of quick stretches and then you can continue on with your day. Okay, let's bring the arms behind us, pull them down, interlacing the hands if you're able to drawing the belly button in so we don't arch the low back too much. And then we're trying to pull the arms away from the body, shoulders away from the ears. Release down, take it into a child's pose, arms wide, stretching into the arms, low back, sides of body, forehead to mat if you can. Come on up. Now make that child's pose wide in the knees, toes together. Bend the elbows. Place the hands back of the neck or upper back if you're able to. Walk the arms forward till you get the stretch into the triceps. You'll also continue that stretch down the sides of the body. Dropping the chest to the ground, getting some T-spine extension. And same thing, forehead to mat if you're able to. And release, sitting cross-legged or back on your heels, whatever feels best for you. Thumb up, press in, just getting the shoulder a bit because it did get trained. Thank you so much for joining me. This is a super quick stretch because I 
wanted to respect your time and thought perhaps you joined this workout because it was only 30 minutes. So I wanted to keep it at that. If you have time to do further stretches and mobility work, I'm going to attach a video. If you're viewing these ads free on Over 50 Fitness, you guys have a ton of different playlists you can choose from. Let's do the other side. Our yoga playlist, our stretch playlist, our mobility playlist, or you can also search via time. Release. Thank you so much for joining me. Drop a comment down below. I would love to hear from you. And don't forget to click a thumbs up if you're here on YouTube so that the YouTube algorithm can find this video. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye. Hey there, good looking. Tone those arms and hit those abs with today's workout. We are performing this workout with giant sets. So probably too much info right out of the bat. Hey, good looking. Tone your abs and hit those arms. It should be tone those arms and hit those abs. Actually, it shouldn't be tone at all. I hate that effing word, but people love it. So I have to do what the people like. Sometimes. <laughs> For reference, I have a pair of 10s and 12s. And heads up, if you're doing this in real time, I have no idea what day it is in the challenge. <laughs> is it day, day nine? Hmm. I have to go look. Bye. <laughs> hey there, good looking. Now listen, I know the title of this workout says tone your arms and your abs, but heads up, we're actually going to strengthen those babies. All right. Listen, this is a fabulous arms and abs workout. If those are the areas you want to target for today, you need a couple of pairs of moderate weight dumbbells. For reference, I have a pair of uh, 10s and 12s. And also heads up, this is a day nine, nine. <laughs> I was blending some German in with this. <laughs>